Welcome back everyone to what's our final line from Zero to Hero. We're gonna play this house game once again. If you are wondering, what is from Zero to Hero? It's basically a series where we do nothing off screen. Every second we spend in the game will be recorded and of course so much as possible will be done solo. We're not allowed to team up with other people by asking them, but we are allowed to join up with them if we see them in a dungeon. But that is basically it. Basically in the last episode we finally reached a level 10 plus and now we can go towards the cave descent level 10 requirement this is basically the second dungeon you can go to in the game and in my opinion we did a decent fast progress so far because we did not make that many videos yet and we didn't really play that much minutes but overall we did a good job but anyway we see a couple of other people over here and let's see what they are gonna do it seems like they are gonna stick in towards the spawn so we have to do most of this completely solo also I have to double check if my attributes are spent completely and you can already see nope they are not i'm gonna spend one more towards a magic power so we do a little bit more damage we should have this hotkey correctly so that is uh, good to see there we go we just have to be sure every hotkey is set correctly because the last time we actually played on this account has been a decent well so this is gonna be our first enemy and i just completely missed that i don't even know how i did that but i just messed that up completely but anyway we are already got a decent amount of damage over here but we are already taking uh, a decent amount of health loss already but we should be fine since we have a candy rapier and the candy rapier is a really really strong piece of equipment also it seems like my skill is not working there we go now it's put to two i don't know why i didn't do that maybe because i tried to reset it and it broke a little bit but overall that happens sometimes, you know, that happens sometimes. So here we go, we already got 50% damage on him. We are just gonna stick with the basic magic attack so far since it is helping us decently well. We already closed the level up towards a level 12, so that is also good to see. And this red crystal crawler is maybe gonna cause us to die, I do not know, oh, we're lucky. We're still lucky enough to not die. Hopefully I can get past them and go towards the uh, safe area well sort of safe area since there are spiders but if I can get to that point I will be relatively safe so it seems like we got a open passageway right now we do have some other people in here but most of them already seem to be leaving so it seems to be a complete solo run also that showcases how far you can get in this game all by yourself because you know if I can do it then Good luck for most other people as well, since I know the game in and out and other people do not know everything in and out. So we're gonna jump down here. We should have some other spiders over here, but they are of course a one hit KO. We got an accessory drop over there, so we are just gonna try to rush around the crystal crawlers, since they do not really like climbing. And this area is still really impressive, even thinking of this was made in 2015. The only changes that we basically did is just the light and that's it just, that's all we did just some lightning changes anyway we got a magma hell flame mask and that will give us a level 12 equipment oh wait we already got another one i did not notice that we had two of them already when did i get did i get one in the other part i'm not sure i'm not completely sure anyway we're just gonna shoot down a tiny bit and hopefully we're gonna deal enough damage we're gonna use our b marino since our b marino deals a lot of damage it's just so satisfying of using the b marino so here we go final hits and boom we got another kill close to level 12 once we reach that we can finally equip our other accessory then we should be strong enough to go towards the boss hopefully and take him on all the way solo if not then well rip on us for that but what gives a nine defense seven magic and let's see how much damage do we deal currently Airblades deal 31.1 of well, two basically since it's a six after that and the other one deals a whopping 90 damage but that's 30 60 90 air blades are just a tiny bit better with around three damage so it's not a lot but it is better overall for me to use right now since i did not reach the cap yet once i reach the damage cap of course it's going to be way and way more difficult also we're going to take a quick look in towards the Auction house, maybe we can find something really really good in there. What is actually my current equipment damage and everything? 10 and 20 
I do not think I can find anything really, really, really better. Well, this could help us, though. Did that could help us, maybe? I'm not sure. Cloak of Phantoms. Six and six. No. That's not gonna help us. Six and six is not gonna help us. Uh, what do we have here? Amber Long Sword. Yeah, I think this is by far the best equipment we can currently have. But this golden thing seems very tempting, but it's a little bit too expensive for us to buy. And look over there, we actually got another person coming in. So it seems like it's not going to be completely solo. But anyway, we're going to try to take him on. We already did a decent amount of damage and hopefully we can take him on. So we're going to do a little bit of a switch over there since he is a higher level with better armor in comparison with me. I think I actually have to buy some new armor very, very soon. So after this one, we're going to get some new armor. And hopefully that will set us a little bit easier forward. And maybe we're going to get a good drop from this boss. Who knows? Maybe we're going to get a really, really good drop from him. So here we go. We're going to do a little bit of a beam. Let's push him back in there. Oh, yeah. That's a really good critical hit over there. That was a really good one. Come on, Molten Magma Overlord. You are going to die by grass. You know, you're lava, but you're going to be grass. I don't know how that works, but that's just how it works. Come on. Nice, 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 nice. Lockpick the chest and let's see if we're gonna get something. Fail to lockpick. Which numbers did we get? We got a number nine. Since number nines are not a drop, we are not gonna get one. But overall, that was pretty good. We're gonna reset and we are gonna go back towards the... All day, and we're gonna take a look into what's the store. I think I said I would have done that by the last episode, but the gap was that long. I totally forgot about that. So I'm deeply sorry if I said I would have done that. But we're just gonna go towards Alney. We have to wait around 30 to 45 seconds to load in since the game is completely smooth terrain. Smooth terrain is less laggy, but will take longer load times. But overall, I think people rather want a longer load time than playing on one graphic. Yeah, I think people prefer a longer load time than playing on one graphic, so we're gonna stick with this method. Also, we are very far with the Undine area. We only have the dungeons left, and hopefully we can have everything done within three weeks, hopefully. So anyway, we got a pretty big server over here. So yes, flying is not broken. Sometimes flying seems to be breaking lately, but we are working on fixing that. So that's a level five equipment. That's level 15. Ouch. Well, I can get that, sadly enough. Weaponry so far is the best. I think I should go towards the Alpha and actually try my luck out of there. Hopefully, I can get a Fang Armor since that armor is really, really powerful in comparison. Since this is only 10 and 17, and the other one should be like 20, 20, or 50, 50. And that will help me overall a tiny bit better. And maybe we're gonna get a level up in there. Do we actually have any of those in cheap price? No. Actually, how much are you in damage-wise? Not a good weapon, though, if I really wanted it. I don't need it. I do not need it. Look at that. This cloak is pretty tempting, though. But it's only 6-6. Six, six. Oh, we actually got one for sale over here. I'm gonna buy one. You know? I'm actually gonna buy one. Because then I have the armor, do not have to farm it. And overall, that would be a little bit easier. So there we go. We bought the item. And now we're gonna go towards equipment and look at that 1515 there we go a little bit more HP a little bit of everything better and overall this will help us really really nicely can we maybe find a cool uh, accessory besides the one we have now maybe 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 we do not know we have anything bronze bronze is uh, very weak I don't want bronze I don't want the bronze one and a golden I can't afford the golden chin mask right now. I need 500 coal. I need 100 more coal. Really, game? Ah, come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna get the grind on. <laughs> We're just gonna fly back towards the cave and just get the final remaining levels we need. So he's gonna shoot three of those. So shoot, kill him. There we go. We got the kill. We're getting close to level 12. 
But overall, that was a really good bot because, you know, this, this item is really, really good overall. A uh, ruby chin mask. <sighs> oh, that's also very, very good. That's very, very good. We only have uh, three tabs in total. The main reason why we do not have a lot of tabs is since, you know, we don't really advertise the game yet. So not a lot of people are selling things. I'm actually planning to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Christmas tree of might. Look at that price. That's two, twenty. 200, 2,000, 20,000, 200,000. Look at that. That is a very expensive price, but it is worth it if you are a collector. Since, you know, people really like collecting. A lot of people think they will actually get a good sale with the crown, but the crown is just so easy to get. Not worth selling. Just keep it. Looks cool. Don't. It will probably never really give you that much income. Since everyone can just easily get it. Certain gears are just a little bit harder to get like boss drops. And overall those will give you the income you want in game. Since you know we are close to it what we need. But anyway guys. If you want to see more in the future be sure you press the like button. In the next video we're going to continue on farming inside the cave. And hopefully we are going to have a little bit more luck with leveling and everything. So everyone please say it with me. 3, 2, 1. Peace out. Yeah.